The Merovingian is an exiled program, hiding or thriving inside the Matrix. He appears in the Matrix Reloaded and Matrix Revolutions, and enter the Matrix game and the Matrix Online game, and becomes a thorn in the side of our heroes. So he's obviously very powerful, but what's the backstory of this outsider? What does the name Merovingian mean? And where did he, or it, come from? Maybe a previous version of the Matrix? Let's deep dive into this character and try to learn who is the Merovingian. You see, there is only one constant, one universal. It is the only real truth. Causality. Action, reaction. Cause and effect. So the basic timeline in the story. The Merovingian is alerted to Neo's arrival when his henchmen recapture the Keymaker after his attempt to give a special key to Niobe and Ghost. Neo, Trinity and Morpheus enter Lavrai restaurant to discuss the Keymaker's freedom from the Merovingian. The Merovingian finds out so sends some henchmen after Neo and crew. Later, Trinity, Morpheus and Seraph speak with the Merovingian to get Neo out of Mobile Avenue, a place between the Matrix and the real world. After a fight, he agrees. Later, Smith calls Sati the Last Exile, therefore the Merovingian was either assimilated into Smith like every other program, or most likely in hiding, which he probably got to by using one of the Keymaker's secret doors. After the Matrix is reloaded at the end of Matrix Revolutions, we see in the Matrix Online that the Merovingian thrives in the Truce era and beyond, with more programs and even red pills joining him. If you want to know more about what happened to the Merovingian after the movies, then tap in the corner now to discover. Where did he come from? Firstly, we know that the Merovingian is a program. The Keymaker is being held by an especially dangerous program, one of the oldest of us. That's a quote from the Oracle in The Matrix Reloaded. I have been held captive in the Chateau in the Mountains by an exile named the Merovingian. That's a quote from the Keymaker in Enter the Matrix. But what kind of program? Evidence suggests that he is an operating system, specifically the operating system of the Nightmare Matrix. So what is the Nightmare Matrix? As the architect explained in The Matrix Reloaded, the version of the Matrix that Neo and Morpheus and everyone are living in is actually the third version of the Matrix. But Morpheus and everyone doesn't know this. When the machines first took over the human race, they created a virtual world that was a paradise, and it didn't work. They then created a virtual world based on fear, full of monsters and everything that humans are scared of. This failed too. They then created the more normal virtual world that humans were used to. You can learn more about this if you tap in the corner right now. We see that in his crew are ghosts and vampires, because at one point Persephone asks who carries silver bullets in their gun, implying that she's about to kill a vampire with a silver bullet. But how do we know that the Merovingian was the operating system of the Nightmare Matrix? Within the Matrix Online game, the character Kid who's from The Matrix Reloaded and The Animatrix and The Matrix comic, writes an ongoing blog. One entry reads, There's no reason a sun-controlling program should look like a little girl, or an operating system seem to be a sybaritic French gangster. The Merovingian also says at one point, It is my business to know, like an operating system. That's exactly what an operating system would do, to, to know exactly what's happening in a computer. As the Oracle says, when a program is flagged for deletion, they can choose to hide in the Matrix, which is exactly what the Merovingian did. Next, what does his name actually mean? The Merovingian dynasty was the ruling family of the Franks from the middle of the 5th century until 751. Merovingian Francia is one of the most powerful successor states of the Roman Empire, and it is from this state that the modern nation of France ultimately descends. The name comes from Merovech, the king of the Salian Franks. Of course, this connects to the Merovingian's French accent, but also his power and his achievement of uniting the monsters under his rule in the Matrix. Next, why is he so good at writing code? In the Lavrai restaurant, he demonstrates his power with the code and the cake. This fits his previous job of generating code as an operating system does, but the connection goes even deeper than that. In real life, Merovingian script, or Gallo-Roman script, was a medieval variant of the Latin script, so-called because it was developed in Gaul during the Merovingian dynasty. It was used in the 7th and 8th centuries. 
During this period, written language was developing more and more, and Merovingian script was one of these new writing styles. So it's a perfect connection that a program named Merovingian was incredibly skilled at writing code. Next, what's behind his architecture? So look at the locations in which the Merovingian scenes take place. Once we leave the Lavroy restaurant, we enter the Chateau, which is basically a castle, and then later the Club Hell Club. In real life, one of the legacies of the Merovingian dynasty was their style of architecture, a style that is based around sarcophagi, altars and Christianity. We see all of this in the Merovingians' locations. Even the head table that Neo and Gang approach to meet the Merovingian could be described as an altar. And what is cause and effect? Obviously, as stated many times in the films, choice is the central theme. Choice is the reason that red pills are able to escape the Matrix, it's the reason that previous Matrixes failed, and it's the thing that drives Neo to save the world. The Merovingian's mentality on life is an opposite of this, cause and effect. He says, choice is an illusion, created by those with power and those without. This is the nature of the universe. We struggle against it, we fight to deny it, but it is of course pretense, it is a lie. Beneath our poised appearance, the truth is we are completely out of control. Causality. There is no escape from it. We are forever slaves to it. Our only hope, our only peace is to understand it, to understand the why. This mentality fits with his origin as an operating system. An operating system will place an order for a piece of software to follow and produce a result. This is different again to Smith's mentality of belief in inevitability because Smith is a program, and programs are created to follow a certain path and then end. This also explains why the Merovingian has a certain agenda to hate the Oracle. At one point he asks for the eyes of the Oracle from Trinity and Gang. This is because he knows that it was the Oracle's eyes that got him deleted from the operating system role when the matrices were changed. So when the Nightmare Matrix failed, uh, the architect realised, OK, we need to add an element of choice here. So he got rid of the Merovingian as the operating system and then installed the Oracle to design a new matrix, the one that's really based around choice. Thank you for watching that everybody. If you liked this video and you want to see more Matrix Explained content, then give this video a like and subscribe because I'm going to be making a new Matrix Explained video every single week or every couple weeks. My name is George, this is Jam Punch, and I will see you next time.